It's tricky asking new patients how they're doing. I'm guessing you're feeling like some devil's pulled the rug. Yeah, you could say that. First bit of advice, stay off the internet. Too late. Well, from now on, anything at all, talk to me. OK, so we've got the results from your colonoscopy and CT scan. Now, I'm afraid it's a little bit more complicated than we'd hoped. Right, uh, give me your worst. Unfortunately, the tumour is now outside the bowel wall. You mean it's spread? Slightly. Uh, how much where to? It's gone beyond the primary site and it's moved into some of your lymph nodes. I missed those appointments when I couldn't get here. So all that time it was spreading and getting worse. I doubt whether a week or so would have made much difference. OK, so... Uh, where am I where? What stage is the cancer at? Three. Three? That's really bad, isn't it? Of course, it's not stage one. Or stage two, or all clear. It's natural to feel frightened, Vanessa. I know how this life-death thing goes, because I see it at work every day. So I need you to be honest with me. Am I gonna die? Take as long as you need. Thank you. Sorry, it's such a shock. I just need to know if this is it. I wouldn't be offering you surgery if I didn't think you could get better. But in your experience, people at stage three, <laughs> do they usually make it? Put it this way, I've treated patients with a much worse prognosis and I've watched them walk out that door cancer-free. Honestly? Yeah. We're on it. OK, it has spread, but it's still early days, and I'm really confident it can be removed. OK, good. That's good. You feeling more reassured? Yeah, kind of. Yes, I've got a little boy, so... I need to get better because I have to stick around to see him grow up, because that's all that matters. I'm going to do everything I can to ensure it happens. You're going to get the best care possible, trust me. <laughs> Thank you. Go on. When do we start? Hey, if you're looking for milk, then don't drink the stuff in the small fat bottles. Although it is amazing gear. Um, sorry, I was just looking for something stronger, to be honest. Right, you do remember that we are in a pub, yeah? Or has someone out there upset you? I just wanted a quiet drink. Is that too much to ask? Only you were acting really weird yesterday, and now poor Tracy gets her head bitten off. I mean, she was already being nice to you because you'd hurt yourself. Charity, come on, what's all this? Oh, what? Well, I'm fine. Well, obviously you're not. <laughs> Tell me. I can't. This has got something to do with Vanessa? No. No, why would it? Well, all that stuff with Piers. You and her have had a really rough time. Yeah. Yeah, she... She just really needs me right now. Kind of more than ever. Of course she does. What he did to her was absolutely horrific. But, hey, you, you can do that supportive stuff, can't you? You can make voodoo dolls and stick pins in them and... Vanessa knows all that. Chaz, stop pretending I'm any good at this! You are! You're brilliant! I mean, when Frank died, you... you stuck by Vanessa's side. You even helped to tell poor little Johnny. <laughs> this is different. Yes, it is, because Vanessa's not grieving this time. She's a survivor. She is strong and she is tough. She's not, though. And all I want to do is run and hide. I just wish this wasn't happening. What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I'm just... Scared? <laughs>